As we all know, water is a very uh, important part of maintaining a golf course. And depending on where you are in the country, it's at very high demand. You know, you pay a lot of money for it or there's not a lot of quantity for it. And so I had the opportunity to partner up with Capillary Concrete. They came to us with an idea of building a hydroponic Capillary Concrete tee box. It would potentially save water, save money, and create great playing surface as well. So I jumped on the opportunity to see if we could find a potential solution for the future of saving water, saving money for superintendents throughout the world. We're at the 11th hole at Hawks Landing Golf Club. It's a prototype tee that's completely irrigated from hydroponic technology. The tee box and the surface of the tee box is 100% watered from underneath. What we've done is we dug a chamber, kind of similar to digging a pool, rectangular shape or whatever shape you'd want your tee box to be. We put in a liner, a rubber liner, and then we put two inches of capillary concrete on top of that. And then we have about 10 inches of sand from that capillary concrete to the surface. Depending on what kind of sand you use, it would be vary in the depth based on the wicking capacity of that sand. So for us, it was eight to 10 inches is how much the moisture gets wicked up. And then we sod it on top. The way the system works is the tea is divided into two chambers. So one chamber fills up with water from underneath. As it fills up with water, it pushes the gas out the surface, hydrates the soil, the roots. Then as the water leaves the chamber, it moves to the other chamber. It sucks oxygen in from the surface. The tee box is completely powered by solar panel, no electricity. Uh, one solar panel would be able to do all the tees on one hole. That's enough power to function everything it needs to do to keep the soil hydrated. They're seeing about 6,000% increase in oxygenation of the soil by doing it this way. In our first six months of testing, we've seen a 65% reduction in water and uh, we've been going through a pretty severe drought here in Central Florida the last handful of months, so we estimate it could be as much as 85% savings in uh, normal conditions.